Hyamos here and I've got the Airlo Audio Andromeda in-ear monitors to unbox today and these just arrived minutes ago via FedEx so anyway let's get to it now you know, appropriately these are from Campfire Audio the Airlo Audio's new brand so if you can hear in the background any uh, sounds of nature that's because I live near uh, a bit of nature and you can probably hear some bullfrogs and, and other things and birds and what have you so if it is a bit noisy in the background that's why anyhow let's get on with unboxing these the question is always where to begin with the uh, the shrink wrap so I always go for where the edge of a box is to make it easiest I'll try along here that seems good, like it's gonna work It's, it's a ne fairly neat box, you know, it fits nicely in my hand, so good that it's compact. It's not like, say, the Dieter Audios, which come in a gigantic box. I think small and neat is best, especially if you're overseas and you, you, know, you have to pay for shipping. Anyhow, they have a, it's a five uh, balanced armature driver pair of IEMs, and they've got an, an aluminium casing. And But I haven't seen the accessories for this yet, so uh, let's have a look. Well, it's a bit dark. Let me just... Uh, brighten things up a bit. problem with you have bright table and dark boxes inside is uh, getting the balance right. So if it is a bit dark that's why. Okay. So inside we have, we'll go backwards, accessories first, a little guide booklet uh, which is going to definitely require some adjustment to see. Still very bright. And that has, so it has machine logo, aluminium, CNC aluminium housing, uh, MMCX cable connection. So of course, uh, unlike uh, other manufacturers, Ken started with cables first. So he's got put good cables on, I believe they're Litz cables that he's using. And a CNC aluminium tip. And the last brand of IEMs that I had that have uh, aluminium tip was the uh, Japanese Fittier. And uh, they used a special uh, shape to get uh, good sound quality through there, sort of like horn shape. And there are some care instructions in there. And uh, fit guide and a Litz wire cable, there we go. I was correct, silver plated copper Litz wire. So, and a, a one year limited warranty. Though I suppose um, with the aluminium case they should be pretty robust, although pretty attractive given the, uh, the shiny green color to being stolen. So anyway, two balanced armature drivers for the lows, two for the highs, and one balanced armature for the mids. And uh, uh, let's see, SPL 115 at 1K, impedance 12 ohms. So you're going to have to have ideally a very low output impedance for best results, but uh, we'll see. I'll experiment with a couple of daps which don't have the lowest output e impedance and we'll see how we go. Before I forget though, the comply tips included so Comply is good, that makes it simple, rather than hunting after the best tip. I've met the guys from Comply, one of the guys from Comply, really nice. And I use Comply tips myself, although I might have fairly sensitive ear canals, I find the pressure a little bit much. But uh, small, medium and large tips, plenty in there. And uh, cleaning, cleaning brush, regular, regular rubber tips. I might try spin fits on them, even though they tend to end up boosting the base a little bit, that tends to happen. Okay, okay so we're on to the case, and brighten the things up a bit. There we go. It's a nice case, it feels like it's it's either, I don't, think it, I don't know if it's a leather case or not. I never thought to ask Ken about what case it came in. Oh, it could be. That feels like wool. That is very classy. I'm not a big leather person myself, but uh, whatever it is, it does feel. I've never had a felt found something with a wool interior. Now that is clever. If it, wool or not wool, or even if it isn't isn't actually wool, it does feel. It's very original, very classy. Anyhow, the IMs themselves. The bright. We'll turn the brightness down a little bit. Have it up a bit high, so should be okay. So let's have a look. Indent Campfire Audio. Patented. Little stick on thing there. Check on the box. And a very solid feel. Let's see if we can bring them up here and see how much how close we can get the focus. 
Can we give it, is it going to focus that close? Maybe not. Oh, that's about as close as we're going to get. So there we have. The only thing about annoying about M, these connectors is they rotate. Some people find this very annoying. Uh, it can be. I mean, it's got memory. It seems to have a big chunk of memory wire. This cable is fairly chunky. It's not too bad. But we're talking, you know, if you get an idea from the ear tips how chunky it is. But it seems to be fairly... Litz wire tends to be very floppy. This has obviously got uh, uh, some kind of... Uh, I don't know, PV seal. I don't know what the plastic is, so it's some of the floppiness that you get with some Litz wire cables seems not to be. Um, they maybe lose a little bit, a little bit of floppiness lost from the the uh, outer coating of the cable. And you have the the splitter. Is a basic affair. I like basic. Some people like big exotic splitters. I think basic is really nice, simply because. Uh, it, uh, it, you know, you, they're, port they're supposed to be portable. You don't want anything taking up space unnecessarily. Anyhow, getting the light adjusted on this is not so good. I don't like the automatic adjustment as it tended to go over bright in some of my videos. Anyhow, that is, this is the Andromeda, which joins the now four other models, the Nova being the other new one in the campfire audio range so it's time for a listen and a review